We got this Winnebago Class C in here. Where? You can see all of this. Put more on, more on. Look at this, like what? <laughs> Gee whiz, where's my tape measure? I gotta measure that. Here it is. That is a lot of bull cookie there. Let's see. I guess they recommend an adequate four inches perimeter around your skylight and vents. So, but look at here. They keep telling you to put this on. This is their cash cow. This is why I don't like Dicor. It's not sticking. This is, you can get your finger underneath here. See? Not stuck. That's the old crap. And somebody put this newer crap on here and it won't stick. So, and you can see like a lot of the cracking in there. So it's going to go down. It's going to weep right back into the same holes that this one has. And you see how big they are. We've got that everywhere. So we're going to, this is a fiberglass roof. So normally, you know, we don't reseal roofs. On this one, since it's fiberglass, I'll loosen all this up. We'll plow all this crap out of here and we'll redo it. You know, barring any anything underneath. When we take the AC off, we want to see what's going on with that. So, not only do we have all those issues uh, to reseal all this, but man, that's that's a just a gee whiz, what a mess. Look at the other side, the back side. Oh, there, that's close to five. <laughs> that's uh, it don't work, it doesn't work. So, we come around this way just to give you an idea. The bunk is just absolutely rotted on this thing. I'll show you that in a second. So, we'll get all this scored away. I may make some custom boots for those. Um, I'll try and see what I can't design up. I can conjure something up, I'm sure. Yeah, I went to the better funded schools in my state. I'll tell you what, I tried. I was one of them smart asses. They said, you want to be a smart ass? We're going to make you one. So, you can see the gasket underneath there. It looks pretty squashed. So, we're going to, obviously, we're going to take that off and I'll put a new one on there. And then, uh, like I said, I want to check around and make sure once we do all that, we'll see what's underneath that. It feels pretty good though. I mean, it sounds pretty solid. So, but let me show you the front of this thing. You think, you think my video work is going to get you seasick? I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to climb down this ladder here. You think my video shaking get you seasick? Look at that. <laughs> Whoa! I think we got some issues there. It's actually some of the see how it's broke apart up in there. I'm hoping I can pull that back in. Some of them I've seen come down in shape that way, but this isn't that way. And I got a buckle right there, and I got to look and see how we're gonna get that. But this is a mess for sure. So it's all a mess on this side. I'm sure the bunk is, I mean, it's obvious that it's rotted, so we just see how much we get into it and how much needs to be done. It's the only thing we haven't done before. It's just yet another, another one, another one, another Class C rotted bunk. Really? Are you kidding? Yeah, really, it's there. So, but uh, we'll get her fixed up. Like I said, we'll show you how we go about it. All right, onward and upward. Check that out right there. See how clean that is? And that's still slick. You can see it didn't stick. It's not going to stick to the plastic. That's all this silicone crap. That's what it is, and that's why it's not sticking to, to this. This isn't sticking to this first base, and this first one isn't sticking to that. So that's why you're getting all these leaks. Let's show you what we got done. All right, lens is cracked, so we got to get a new one of those. Where is that crack? That's a pretty good size one right there. So you can't fix these. It's just real hard to get this polycarbonate to come back together, so we got to order another one. Um, so that's that. Then cleaned all this out, cleaned all this up, and in here, this is so flimsy, and there's a lot of screws to go in here. But um, what we ended up doing is we put a piece of steel in here. It goes back about this far, so three, four inches, anyways, and uh, goes all around the perimeter. We just put these screws in just to keep it tight because we uh, glued it all back together. And we'll take those screws out and we'll when we go to put in our skylight so and the same with this we'll end up drilling some holes in here and we'll get this to seat down in there and that'll be good for that then on here same thing plowed it all up and then uh we sealed under it but what the reason why we got these holes we're going to fill these and inside where this pipe is we made sure that we the, the 
sealer isn't going to leak all the way down. We're going to pour that. We're going to pour it right in. It'll fill that boot right up. And then we're going to put a lick right around here too to make sure it don't it doesn't leak. So we got this all put back down too. And we're going to get this back. And we got you can see all our product under here. So that's what we're working on with that. And then uh, we still got to negotiate the whole front, take all that apart. So just kind of giving you an up to speed. We got little boots that we're going to put on here for the antenna. We're going to put them up on some bolts. And um, then that'll be all set too. Check this out. So we got all this rot going down here and everything. They left the film. <laughs> There's a film on this butyl you're supposed to peel off. And you see how I'm working it right there? They left it on there. And uh, that doesn't. I can get that. It's already mashed in there now, but that film is right there. See how I'm loosening it up? That's the other side of the butyl. So when you put the butyl on, it's supposed to peel that plastic off, that film, so it'll bond. They did the same over there, which probably contributed to some of the damage in here. So this part, I don't know, we're gonna see what it looks like when we take it off, but it sounds pretty solid. So but uh that's uh that's Winnebago right there. Shouldn't say Winnebago, it's everywhere. People just don't want to do their job. They don't know what they do. They just want to get it done. People getting on their back. Get it done, get it done, get it done. People skip steps. They're trying to get it done. And they get stressed out and they don't do their job right. You know, we take our time and do it right. So some folks say, say, hey, I need to get my coach back. I can't do a shoddy job on this one just for the sake of getting another one in here. We don't do that type of work. When this is done correctly, then we get another customer in. That's that's what we're about. All right, so we get the bunk out, or at least part, portion of it. This is a double, the way they do, Winnebago does them. The bunk comes out halfway, and then the other piece comes around, so it's two pieces. So we get that, and then we're, we're, we get all the trash. There's all the rot, all the rotted wood. So now what we're trying to do is see if we can't get carpet and everything it's all probably molded anyways and gross so we're going to take that up we're going to clean this up and get it back together and rebuild a new radius there's no radius on it all they do is that foam see that's it so there's no strength on it so now as it goes down the road it gets all that headwind everything hitting it it shakes all around and then it starts working loose and then you get leaks and we're going to build a new radius for it but this is our New radius that we built, we built a new platform, and we got all that. So, after we do that, we got all that done. Now what we're doing is we're gonna clad over that with sheet metal, that's what we're working on right now. This is the front piece, and so part of the problem that they had, they, these manufacturers tend to go from one extreme to the other, but they have got this big old piece of plywood in there. That was the whole platform right there, so you're almost at one inch, That's that's, quite heavy so as it's going down the road and it's bouncing that weight tends to really tax the bunk on the top side they had another piece of one inch which is why we made that one up there and the bunk underneath the ones we made they're like similar to the way they used to make them where they put foam in them but they would use an aluminum frame well we've got a wood skeletal frame and we got foam in it all glued together so we get a lot of strength there Plus we got, again, a lot of the strength on that radius that we've got up there. So with that radius, and now we're gonna clad over it with that sheet metal that you see right there. We're gonna put that on there, and then we're gonna laminate this piece back to everything. So it's gonna be tied as a drum. And uh, like you said, that's, you can see all the rod on there anyways. But that's what happens, it just, it gets taxed that way. It's too heavy, it's too heavy. And again, they go from one extreme to the other. The other side is already similar over there. You can see it all wrinkled up over there. You see that go over that side. And uh, we're about to get this stitched back up, okay? So we're about ready to get this back together and then um, should be good to go. But it'll be, it'll be light enough to carry down the road so it's not so heavy bouncing, but it's gonna be real strong where it's not gonna shake apart with the headwind and everything. All they had in there, they didn't even have a radius. They just had that little foam to kind of shape it and give a little strength to the back of the phylon. That's all that is, just kind of corrugated foam. They made the you know, the, uh, the grooves, the, if you want to call grooves, the dados in there. They made all that so, you know, obviously they can curve it around and uh, so the foam would flex. But overall, there's, that's all they had for strength in there. There wasn't any structural strength 
like what we've got going on, we've got all of the framing in there. That's all framed out, so that's a big difference. And it'll be a lot stronger, plus it's all one piece. So but we're getting it there. Now we got that nice sheet metal going all the way in, plus it's got a leg I put on it this way and this way, which adds more strength to it. It's all glued in there. You can see, actually, you see all the glue hanging out right here underneath that screw and all the other screws. But that thing is all glued in, plus we glued the whole entire thing across. We laminated that in there. Now we're going to put the main phylon down. All right, we are done. So you can see we got the bunk all back together. And then uh, we pulled around here, right up in there, it had a, a crack in it. So we filled it and then put a decal up there to kind of match the decals down here. So since I put one there, I had to put one over here. But otherwise, she is ready to go, ready to roll. We've got it started. We're cleaning it up. Uh, probably need a little paint, maybe some body work on here. There's a couple of dents in there. But, uh, but otherwise, like I said, she's ready to go, all sealed up, ready for the prom. So out she goes.